So what we're going to learn today is how to create fiery looking text just like you're seeing here. Okay, so first thing we want to do is create a new picture and so we have 800 by 600 and then we want to fill the background with black and then get our text type tool, select our orange and our large type font. I'm using Lily UPC. Type in what you want. And tick that, position it in the middle, then we want to create a new layer just by clicking down here and then go reset the colors from to black and white by pressing the D key and then go to filter, render clouds, and then go filter, sketch, chrome, and just have the detail force moving the 6 and then hit OK, then we want to go the blending mode and select color dodge and then whilst holding control click the text layer and then press control C and control V and that's pasted the text onto a new layer so then we just want to drag that down to this button here to duplicate the layer duplicate the layer and duplicate the layer again now what we want to do with the first layer is go into filter, blur, motion blur and then just select zero degrees and then hit OK. Then on the next layer we want to go filter, blur, motion blur. This time we'll select say 40 degrees then hit OK and then Going to filter, blur, motion blur, and this time we want to select the opposite, so negative 40 degrees. You can change the distance if you like for a larger to cover a larger area, but you just want to keep it kind of uniform. So we'll just put it back as 100 and hit OK, and then we want to select all of these orange text layers and then right click and select merge layers and then go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur and then what you want to do, you want to select probably about three three point one or three so I'm just going to hit OK there then what we want to do is clicking back on our text layer, if we double click on that, uh, you should be able to change the color back to black, and then give that a tick, and then we just drag that above our fiery layer, and then change the capacity to say 50%, and that's basically it, now you can go a step further and like with the fire layer selected you can press control U or go into image adjustments here on saturation and just tick colorize and then change the color here to a different sort of color add a bit more saturation a bit more lightness if you like just to give you a different color if you don't want the orange Okay, so hope this has been a help, and thanks for watching.